guys, it's Dina from Tarot with Dina. Welcome back to my channel. This week I'm talking about the suit of wands, my favorite wands cards from all of my decks, and I'm going to go through them and tell you which wands are my favorite. So the Ace of Wands in the Everyday Enchantment Tarot and in the Tarot of the Divine both show someone holding a paintbrush, which I think is a really great way of just remembering that the wands are creative energy. And so, of course, the wand for creativity would be a paintbrush. The Ace of Wands in the Modern Love Tarot shows like a maypole like for Beltane, and it's all decorated and has a little heart. A lot of times aces can be boring. There are a lot of times just a hand holding a wand or something, you know, so I like when they have something different than that on them. In the Shadowscapes, there are three foxes in a wand. The Shadowscapes is a really beautiful deck. Sometimes it doesn't stand out when it's next to other decks because the watercolors are so subtle and some of the bolder colors in other decks stand out a lot more, but the illustrations are very beautiful in the Shadowscapes. I really like this Ace. The Ace of Wands in the Joie de Vivre, I like that it has someone, you know, a character. A lot of times these cards don't even have a character for the Ace. So I always like when they include a character. In the Still Below deck, this shows a hand with a wand, but what I like about it is that it seems to be taking action. So the hand with the wand is lighting the candles probably for a spell. So I really like that this is a proactive Ace of Wands that shows somebody doing something. And then the Robin Wood Ace of Wands, you've got sunflowers and the wands in the middle. So one of the things is that it can represent fertility. So this is kind of why I should put the wand in between the two sunflowers to remind you, especially if you get it with some other cards like the Empress or the Ace of Cups or something that you could remember that it could mean a pregnancy. These are my favorite aces. This is a really beautiful one. This is also beautiful. But I think my favorite Ace of Wands really is the So Below because I do like that it shows someone taking action. I like the very proactive element of the Ace of Wands in So Below. So the Two of Wands, we have the Forest of Enchantment and it shows someone casting they're like runes but they're the celtic version which are called ogum sticks so i really like this one he's you know telling the future or whatever a lot of times you'll see something similar to this with someone standing between two wands looking out at the world so this is the modern witch tarot and what i liked about its take on this is that she's holding a phone so a lot of times you'll see like a world but here the world is the phone. So I thought that was really an interesting take. Here we have the Darkwood Tarot. And I just think it's a really beautiful card. I mean, you've got just someone standing between the wands with the world, but I just think the illustration is really, really beautiful. And the Lightseer's Tarot. I like that she's looking out the window wistfully and it's just like a modern interpretation of what this card might mean. Like here's a world, here's a little sketch of a van and she's just looking out. You can see that she's planning an adventure or some travel. In the Joie de Vivre Tarot, this is by Paulina Cassidy, and I just love her artwork. I think it's just really, really adorable. And then the Two of Wands in the This Might Hurt Tarot shows someone on their car and they've got a map. So it's very similar in that it shows that somebody is about to take an adventure or they're pausing for a moment. I never noticed this before, but there's two trees as the wands, but it's just, these are very adventurous Two of Wands cards. So I think these two are very beautiful. This might be, I don't know. These two I like a lot because I like that they're showing someone looking out at the world and planning their adventure. Well, here she's looking at a map and here she's looking out the window. I like that they're showing someone planning a trip or an adventure or a quest or just longing for something or wanting something. But I do think that these are more beautiful illustrations. I'm not sure what my favorite is, but I really, really drawn to, this is called the Two of Spells in the Force of Enchantment, just because it's just a really beautiful card. It's my favorite artistically, but I almost think like the Light Seers, as far as the meaning of the Two of Wands. So here, I think we might have a tie. Artistically, I like the Two of Spells from the Force of Enchantment, but meaning wise, I really like the Light Seers, Two of Wands. That's also a really pretty one. So 
Right, so the Three of Wands, this is the Robin Wood, and it shows a man looking out at some ships. A lot of times it's called your ship coming in. This is a very Rider Waite Smith interpretation of the card, but I just really love the Robin Wood deck. I think that's beautiful. The Three of Spells in the Force of Enchantment shows someone casting a spell, and you know, instead of having your ships come in, it looks like they're setting their spells almost like ships out onto the water. This is a really beautiful card. The Three of Wands in the Soul Cats Tarot is very similar to a traditional depiction, but now it has a kitty looking out at the ships coming in. So I really like this. Is, the Soul Cats is a very adorable deck. I really love the kitties in those cards. The Three of Wands in the This Might Hurt Tarot shows a woman perched on a desk. The wands are actually a pencil and two pens in her cups here, and she's looking out the window at the ships and she's got some work on the desk behind her so it looks like she has gotten some work done and now she's waiting for the results to come in in the so below tarot this woman is sitting inside there's a fire and she's got her hair up in a towel and a, a cup of something warm to drink and then there's a mailman outside that is bringing something one thing that's interesting about this is that i've actually gotten the three of wands in readings sometimes to mean that something is coming in the mail maybe if you're waiting for you know your income tax refund or something like the day that you get it really could be represented by the three of wands so i, I especially like this because i have had the card mean that in readings on more than one occasion i think well that's the publisher's clearinghouse <laughs> <laughs> you're not, you didn't win, somewhere. you didn't she's win. Got well, she's got these candles going, so she's counting on winning. <laughs> I really like this one and this one. I like this modern scene. I, I think I like a lot of decks that have people in everyday situations and modern scenes. So I do like these two a lot, but probably just for the meaning and the fact that I've had it come up to mean this exact thing. I really like the So Below for the Three of Wands. So here we have the Four of Wands, and a lot of times it can mean a party, a celebration, it can even mean a wedding. In the Robin Wood, you have the wands creating this structure similar to like a gazebo or other platform, and they're dancing on it, probably something like a wedding. A lot of times that's what it can mean. And here in the Shadowland, you've got um, some little spiders, and they have a web that they put between these four wands. So, and there's a castle in the background. A lot of times in this card, there is a castle in the background, not in the Robin Wood, even though you know a very Rider Waite Smith deck. But a lot of times, traditionally, there's a castle in the background. But I just like that this has spiders instead of people in this one. The Waite Newman Tarot, I just thought this was beautifully illustrated. So, I mean, it just is a traditional showing two people in a structure of four wands, but I just thought it was especially beautiful in the illustration. In the Fae Tarot, we've got these little fairies decorating a tree, so they're about to have a big celebration, and this is a really, really pretty deck. It doesn't always follow exactly what you would expect from, like, Rider Waite Smith. I think it goes with the meanings, but the pictures don't really, they're not quite what you would expect, but I do think this is really a pretty deck, and I like this card with them just decorating this tree, because you can just see that they're getting ready for a celebration. In the Everyday Witch Tarot, there's, again, there's a castle in the background, there's some balloons, but you have four witches, and they're holding their wands up, creating magic together. Like, I really like this one because um, one time when I was really sick, I, when I had found, like, a breast lump, and I it was cancer, but before I found out for sure what was going to happen, I did a reading, um, which you shouldn't give people medical advice from a tarot reading, but I was reading for myself and I wanted to know what was going on. And the cards were, you know, pretty serious because it was pretty serious, but the final result was the Four of Wands. So when I saw that and that it was a celebration, then I was like, well, I'm going to be okay. And I, I am okay because I'm like three years cancer free now. So when I see this card, like that's a really happy card for me because it was at the end of a reading where there was some hard stuff ahead, but I just always remembered it was going to be okay because that's why the people were celebrating. The Four of Wands in the So Below. Now this one has jack-o'-lanterns that they're hanging and, you know, they're setting the table for a feast. So, you know, it's like maybe a Halloween party instead of like a traditional wedding or something kind of celebration. It shows just a different type of celebration. I think out of these four of wands. I really think that um, the Fae Tarot has one of the prettier ones and so does the White Newman. But I think just personally I really like the four of wands from the Everyday Witch just because 
it has a lot of meaning to me just from a reading that I did that was meaningful in my own life. So this is probably my favorite, but the Four of Wands, no matter what deck you have, it's usually just a really good, happy card with a good outcome. All right, so this is the Five of Wands, and it usually means that there's some sort of conflict going on. So it's kind of funny that for some reason I chose like nine of these things instead of just four or five. It's not like I like conflict that much, but it looks like I do when I lay all these out. And the Five of Wands in the Kawaii Tarot, I really liked it because it has this cactus here. So it's not just that they're hitting each other with sticks, which is a lot of times, you know, a traditional way that they're showing conflict. But I liked that the cactus is prickly and that it shows you know, just the texture that way. And this is a very traditional depiction in the Robin Wood Tarot. And I think that she says in her book that they're almost about to form like a pentagram with their wands. This is very traditional, but I, I always like Robin Wood's art. And this Five of Wands is from the Everyday Enchantment Tarot, and it's got all kinds of things going on. And I really do like cards that have a lot of visual things going on because when you do a reading and you lay the cards out, one time you might lay them out and you notice the umbrella, or another time you might lay them out and you notice the dog. So when there's a lot going on visually in the cards, it can help in readings because when you lay it out and you see like, what did I notice first? Then that can help you with your interpretation, but you've got conflicts between the two dogs in the foreground, conflicts between these two children, and this man for some reason seems to be egging them on. You know, you've got a whole bunch of stuff with birds and I don't know if there's even fairies in this card. There's a lot going on here, but I, I really like when there's modern scenes and a lot of body language and things to read. The So Below is another deck that's really about modern scenes and body language. So here you have some people at work who can't agree. They've got a computer open, they have a date circled on the calendar, and they seem to be arguing. So they're probably a team. Like a lot of times, it's the kind of conflict that you have with people that are on a team with you, and it's like a sparring. It's not like a fight to the death or something. So I think this is a good way of showing like they're disagreeing, but they're not competitors. They are working on the same team together. I'm like the five of wands here in the modern love where they should be on the same team together, but I mean, this is a really tense Five of Wands. It looks like they're going to go on a trip and they are fighting and arguing, which I guess is like a trip with my parents because they cannot take a vacation without getting all Five of Wands for the whole way. <laughs> I think I know how to read this. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so look at the back of the car, uh -huh. all that neat, neatly organized luggage. There's no room for her. And he's like, you can't put that. I have no room in there. He's going to screw up my, this is the man. He's going to screw up my organization of my luggage. He's like, you can't bring all this. Look how many we already have. And she's like, I'm bringing this I, one. I'm not, leaving, I'm not leaving my shoes. <laughs> I really, really like um, when there are clear depictions of body language in a deck. It's probably the, my favorite thing in any deck is going to be when I can read really clear body language. The Five of Wands in the Tarot of the Divine shows the Pandavas from the Mahabharata, which is one of my favorite, favorite stories of all time. And, you know, there's a war in that story, but this shows the Pandavas hitting each other with sticks. So this is like play fighting. This is sparring because they're not at war with each other. So this helps you remember that the Five of Wands is not like a battle to the death. It's not that kind of fight. It's like a friendly fight. Like these are brothers and they're not on opposite sides in the actual war in the Mahabharata. For, for one thing, I like any cards that has the pandavas on it because I really love the Mahabharata. But I like that it is showing brothers and not enemies and that they're just sparring and not having a fight to the death. In the Everyday Witch, and in the Green Witch, they're casting spells. So the Everyday Witch shows five witches standing around a cauldron, and they seem to be arguing about how they're going to get this magic done. The Five of Wands in the Green Witch has got these guys gathered in the woods. They don't actually seem to be arguing that much, but they, they must be having some sort of disagreement. I have not read the book. I'm very bad about not reading the guidebooks. But these two both show people maybe disagreeing about how to do magic or, you know, like a team that is working together 
but not agreeing just like this about not agreeing about how to work together the five of wands in the soul cats this kitty has knocked over these torches and that is very bad but i just love the soul cats tarot because it's so beautiful and i love the kitty so every time i see this one i'm like kitty no because you know you can just see that he's creating havoc everywhere he goes i think that my favorite i really really like everyday enchantment so below i love that there's the pandavas in the tarot of the divine but i think my favorite in the five of wands and i don't know why i chose so many i mean i don't like conflict that much but i really like this scene in the modern love just because it is so clear and so easy to understand you know what it represents so the six of wands a lot of times is the card of victory or triumph so here in the alistair crowley thoth deck you have um it actually the keyword says victory and that's usually how this card is read. So in the Robin Wood, this is very traditional, you know, someone just riding in with their crown on, on their horse, people are cheering for them because they've just won. And here you have in the Soul Cats, it's the kitty cat. And he's just, you know, he's got this sash on and he's walking through the wands, but you can just see just the victory on his face and that just, proud look of triumph as he's walking towards you the six of wands in the light spheres it still has like a laurel wreath but i really like how this is showing a different kind of success so she's on stage and you can see all these hands raised probably from something like a concert but i really like the depiction of triumph sometimes you think of like a battle or something that someone's coming home for but this is you know a different kind of personal triumph the Everyday Enchantment and the Bad Bitches Tarot both are showing someone who has won some sort of sporting competition. This looks like a gymnast. And then here we have someone running races. Here you have people cheering on the person who's coming in on their horse. And here you have people cheering on someone who's winning a race. Although they kind of look like they're going to knock those things down. I don't know anything about running races, but it, they look like they're kind of close. and They're going to kick them and knock them down. Well, it's supposed to be get their foot hurdles. tangled up. Yeah. Hurdles. I don't jump hurdles. I don't, super I don't close do together. Run. The finish line kinda, is you're jumping <laughs> I mean, over the hurdle. Dang, like <laughs> the finish line is right there with those hurdles. But I, I understand that a lot had to go into um, the frame of the picture. Um, the Six of Spells in the Force of Enchantment. I, I really love this deck because it just looks like every card looks like a fairy tale. And it looks like every time you lay them down, like it makes me want to, you know, write. A fantasy novel or something every time I lay the cards down they seem to tell a story so here you have some people gathered around in like a tavern or something and this guy has successfully hatched a dragon which is I guess a totally different kind of victory um, and I guess that would be quite the victory if you managed to hatch a dragon so these people are looking on I'm not even sure if these people realize yet that he's hatched a dragon but this is gonna be a very big victory for him so I really like that and he does have a wand in his hand. It's a little like the Hobbit and Gandalf <laughs> in the background back there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a really, really pretty deck. I mean, I think my favorites um, of the Six of Wands, I really like the Light Seers. I really like the Triumphant Kitty on Soul Cats. And I really like the Six of Spells from Forest of Enchantment. But I think on this card... I think the Light Seers really is my favorite. I really like that her triumph is like a personal victory and that it wasn't a victory over somebody else, but something that she accomplished on her own. So the Seven of Wands is another card of conflict, but the Seven of Wands is not like the Five. So in the Five of Wands, you know, they have a friendly competition, but this is a much more serious type of a fight. So the Robin Wood has a very traditional depiction of someone standing. They usually have the high ground and they're fighting or fending off, you know, people who are coming at them. And this might hurt. I don't know how he's going to get this arrow ready in time and fight off all of these. It looks like a, a losing battle, but it's not, it, it is 
someone, you know, who isn't going to lose this battle, but it does look like a really tough situation in the everyday witch, you know, she's sort of backed up to these stones and everyone's coming at her and her little kitty with their wands all pointing at her. In the modern love, it shows like a lesbian couple and they have everyone coming at them and they're just sort of making a gesture like, you know, back the fuck off. I really like this one a lot. The Seven of Wands in the Next World Tarot shows a woman sitting on the ground and she has candles in front of her that alternate black and white candles and the police in riot gear are behind her. So I thought this was a really powerful image of this card because she's sitting calmly, um, you know, and there's obviously a lot of high tension. This is a very powerful image of the card. In the shadowscapes, you have a fox with her babies and I don't know if this is a badger or what that is, but it looks like an animal that is about to attack her babies. So this is not a card that's like a friendly conflict between a team like it is in the five, but this is like where this mother is like defending, I think they're called kits. I think a fox babies are called kits from, you know, an animal that is capable of killing them. Honey badger. Honey badger is gonna kill, no, you know, because mama fox is gonna fend you off. <laughs> in the Darkwood Tarot, you can't really see exactly, like there's like shadow, like it's shadows. It's called the dark wood and she's in a dark wood and it's sort of shadowy figures around her. But I just really love the artwork in this deck. In the Lightseer Seven of Wands, what I really liked about this one is that She's sitting like in meditation. So she's got her bubble around her. She's got her personal energy. So even though all these wands are coming at her, you know, it shows her on this like meditation cushion. So it's like here, this guy's on the high ground. Like here, she's like above it all. So all of this is going on, but she's found her center and she's calm and composed even in the midst of everything that's going on. The Seven of Wands. Um, this is very, very beautiful. Um, this is very clear and easy to understand what's going on in the picture. But I think that the Seven of Wands in the next world is just a really powerful image. So I think this might be my favorite, but a lot of these are very, very beautiful. Yeah, I do think this is my favorite, but this is also a very, very beautiful card. I really like the artwork on this one as well. The Eight of Wands is one of those cards that usually is depicted as pips. So usually you just have eight wands in the air, which is kind of a boring representation. So I've chosen several that don't just have eight wands in the air. Now in the Paulina Tarot, it is very similar to a traditional eight wands flying through the air, but it does have a person who is riding them apparently. She's got her feet on this one. She's got this one in her hand. So at least it shows somebody doing something. In the shadowscapes, um, this one is standing here and there are like dandelions, like making a wish, like she's blowing the seeds of the wish into the air. The Light Seer's Tarot just has the wands, but I think it's just a really beautiful card. I just liked this one because it was so pretty. In the Druidcraft Tarot, it shows a person throwing the wands. So it's not just that wands happen to be flying through the air, but it shows a person throwing them. So I liked that it showed an activity. I liked the Eight of Wands from Crowley's Toth Tarot. Um, I just like the you know, it, the keyword says swiftness, but I like these, uh, the energy going out in all directions. I really like, I don't often like pip cards, but some of these ones are really expressive in this deck. And I like that energy just going out in all the directions. In the everyday enchantment, you have a lot of different ways of showing fast action. One of them is that her house sold and she's uh, getting some stuff in the mail, probably money. Here you have a little kid with his airplane going fast and his dog going fast. A lot of times it's like the fast action card. Like it can mean like whatever you wanted to have happen is going to happen soon or things are moving very quickly now. Um, you've got some fairies here, ladybug, a bird, but it's just really clear 
you know, things are moving fast. They're moving fast. I guess he has a suitcase or something here. So it really tells a story. If you want to think things are moving fast, like here their house sold and they're going to be moving. And then in the So Below deck, this is a very different depiction. And honestly, if it didn't like, if it didn't say eight wands, you might think this was like the magician. Like, I think that's what card it really looks like in a way. But what I like about this eight of wands is that not only is it very beautiful, but this is a card of fast action, but this shows that this woman is taking purposeful action. So it looks like she's raising energy to send out toward her goals. So not only is action happening and things are going to happen very quickly, but she is proactively making the action happen. And I always like when a card is showing someone proactively doing something. So I think that this is very beautiful but it's just kind of plain and I think that this depiction in the so below is probably my favorite just because it shows someone using their intention and creating the action and change that they want so I think this is my favorite <laughs> The Nine of Wands is the third of the Wands cards that is really about battle or conflict, but this one is a long ongoing conflict and it shows a lot of weariness. In the Robin Wood, this man has taken all of the wands that he has previously won and he's made sort of like a fence or fortress behind himself. And he's standing here, his head is wrapped and he's been fighting for a long time. He's still victorious, but now he's getting tired and weary. In the Everyday Witch Tarot, she has apparently taken the wands of everyone she was fighting against. So she has several of them on the ground and then two in her hands and she's waiting for whatever attack is coming. Her head is bandaged and you can tell she's been fighting for a long time. In the Soul Cats Tarot, this kitty has retreated. So he's near a trash can in a window and he's resting, but he's got one eye open. So he's still on alert, even though he has retreated to a place to rest. If you look at it, there's a line going across his eye. So he was in a fight and his mm. eye's been scratched. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just like the lady with a head wound here, like he's gotten a little, poor kitty has gotten injured, but he's still standing. Well, not standing, he's taking a nap, but he's, he's all right, but he has been through it. This is a card where someone has definitely been through it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, poor kitty has gotten injured and is now uh, sleeping with one eye open. In the modern love, Tarot. This is like a familiar household scene where you have <clears throat> the conflict with these children in the background and then the woman in the foreground who's just like, oh my god, like, not again. Like, I think this is really relatable, especially as a mother. I think I, I've lived this one a lot, like listening to someone arguing yet again in the background. So this was really relatable. And this was also relatable from This My Hurt Tarot. You see all these chewed up pens and pencils and all these stacks of notebooks and papers. So he's chewed up an apple and there's a core there. He's been working on this and he's still working on it, but he is getting weary. And you can see that he has his head in his hands here. Here she has her head in her hands as well. So this is a card where Oh my gosh, this, this is the kind of conflict that just keeps going on and you're getting just weary of the whole thing. The Nine of Wands in the So Below Tarot. Um, she has an altar set up here and she's sitting on the floor and she's lighting candles. She's weary and getting tired of this situation, but she's like, well, there is still something I can do. So, you know, she's going to do some magic to work on the problem, but she's sitting on the floor, not standing at her altar. So you can see that she's getting weary of this whole ongoing situation. I think all three of these are very, very expressive. I do, I don't know, I, I really relate to this guy with his chewed up pens and just all the stress of working on this for so long and, you know, but I, I think that my favorite Nine of Wands is the modern love just because it is such a relatable scene and because you can just almost hear the conflict going on in this card. This is my favorite of the Nine of Wands. The Ten of Wands usually shows someone carrying a burden that's too heavy. 
So they have 10 wands and you can't carry that many wands. This is the joie de vivre tarot. And there's one still on the ground. She's picking up a, a, a wand with her tail and she's got the other eight wands. Like she can't even get them all picked up. There are too many wands. I think this is a really cute card. Shadowland tarot. It has a little mouse and he has all of these wands on his back and they're like logs. They're too much for him to carry. There's a little apple there. Um, you can see that he's carrying a load that's too heavy. Same thing in the Fae tarot. This orange is too large for this fairy. The fairy's trying to carry off the orange, but it's just gigantic. In the shadowscapes, you have actually a woman and she is bent over and all of this, like the whole world is on here. Like she's carrying the whole world on her back or on her shoulders. It is all like she's almost like a tree trunk with all of this growing out of it but I just like that she has the whole world as a burden on her. In the Kawaii Tarot, I just thought this was really adorable. This is a really cute deck. So this little guy has way too much candy. He can't even see around it. He has so much candy that he's carrying. So this is a very traditional depiction of the card, but especially cute. In the So Below deck, she's getting home late. She's using her phone to unlock her door. She has her purse. She has another bag. She's been shopping. So, I mean, she's been to work. She's had to go shopping. She's getting home late. And I just really like this as, you know, you can see the burden. It actually reminds me of my own side door. And actually the, the door that my husband comes in when he goes to work and he comes in late and it just looks like coming home late from work and opening that door. So this is a very expressive Ten of Wands. In the Modern Love, it's also very expressive. I like that the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday on the calendar is like, what the fuck? So you've got WTF there. She's got her computer. She's got all these notes on the wall. She's got a clock and a calendar for deadlines, all this work on the table. And it's just too much. She's trying to carry this whole load. And I mean, she doesn't have her hands free for even one more thing. And you can just see that on her face. The Ten of Wands and the Everyday Enchantment, I think is a self-portrait of Poppy Palin, the illustrator here. She has all of these colored pencils. It looks like she's working on this very deck and there's an incoming phone call and you can just see how stressed out and burned and overwhelmed like I can imagine that she was because you know when you're creating 78 pieces of art for your tarot deck and there's a deadline and someone's calling you about it and you've been working and working and you're not done yet she's got crumpled up pieces of paper and everything around her and this is very expressive as well of just how she's feeling I, I like when you can tell how someone on the cards is feeling and she's feeling very stressed out and very overwhelmed. I think the best ones as far as the way that I read with the body language and everything are the So Below, the Modern Love, and the Everyday Enchantment. But I like this one a lot, but I think that the Everyday Enchantment really is my favorite because that's just so expressive and you can just tell how stressed out she is and how overwhelmed and burdened that she feels. All right, so my favorite cards from the suit of wands out of all of my tarot decks. For the ace of wands, we have the book of shadows, so below deck. For the two of wands, I had a tie between the force of enchantment tarot and the light seers tarot. For the three of wands, I had the so below deck again. This was my main reading deck for a number of years, so that's probably why I keep coming back to this one. For the five of wands, I had the everyday witch. That's the four of wands. For the four of wands, I had the everyday witch. For the five of wands, I had the modern love. The six of wands is the light seers. Seven of wands is the next world tarot. Eight of wands is the Book of Shadows so below again. The Nine of Wands is Modern Love and the Ten of Wands is the Everyday Enchantment Tarot. These have been my favorite cards from the Wands suit in the tarot deck. Thank you for hanging out and spending time with me and looking at these cards together. And next week I'm going to be doing um, the Suit of Cups. So I'll be pulling out all of my favorites from the Suit of Cups. So goodbye. see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell for notifications. I post new videos every Wednesday.